Good evening. Today we will be covering the post-market analysis dated February 3, 2023. Indian equity markets closed on a positive note today. Adani Group stocks listed in Nifty 50 recovered from their lows today. Adani ports managed to close in green after a long time. Nifty opened gap up around 17,721 and managed to make a day high of 17,870. After that we can see some profit booking. At the time of close Nifty managed to close above 17,850 which is a good sign. Similarly Sensex climbed up almost 909 points to give a closing of 60,841. Talking about sectors most of the sectors ended in green with Nifty PSU Bank emerging as top gainer with gains of 3.07%. Now, talking about the three stocks that have managed to be in gainers list today are Titan, Adani Ports and Bajaj Finserve. Top three stocks mentioned above rose by 6.51%. 5.61% and 4.96% respectively. On the other hand, we will talk about those three stocks which ended as top losers. They are Divis Lab, Adani Enterprises and BPCL. They fell within the range of 1.67% to 12% respectively. For the corporate segment we have, the Hinduja Group is looking to increase its stake in Indus IND Bank to 26% from the existing 16.51%. Sanjeev Singhal, with effect from February 1, 2023, has been given additional charge of Chairman and Managing Director of Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders. Inox Green Energy Services entered into a definitive investment agreement with IFOX Wind Technic India, an independent ONM wind service provider, to acquire 51% stake in IFOX at 35,947.71 rupees per share. Lakita Infrastructure has received an order worth 129.63 rupees crore from Gale India. The scope of work included pipeline laying and composite works for Part B, Nagpur Jarsaguda, of MNYJPL project. Apollo Tires has reported a 31% year-on-year growth in consolidated profit at 292.1 rupees crore for December financial year 23 quarter despite spike in input and finance costs. The government does not plan to sell additional shares of state-run life insurance corporation of India to the public in financial year 24 due to unfavorable market conditions and weak retail demand. Karnataka Bank in daily timeframe is trading around 149.2 points with a change of 8.3% and is trading with a net volume of around 2.495 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 142.45, which is a good indication for the stock. While shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 53.66. An RSI of above 50 may indicate that the stock is in overbought region. Coil Aluminiums Limited in daily timeframe is trading at 247.65 points with a change of 7.1% and is trading with a net volume of 38.458 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 209.2. Shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 68.88. For stocks to watch we have, Adani Ports looks good on current market price of 499. It can be bought at 500 rupees keeping target of 605 rupees with stop loss of 423. HFCL looks good on current market price of 67.60. It can be bought at 68 rupees keeping target of 76 rupees with stop loss of 62. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via miss call, WhatsApp, or email. Thank you for listening the video to the end. Please do like, share, and subscribe the video for the latest updates in the market.